<laughs> Thank you for watching PCM Films. But if you are here to subscribe to this channel, you are not doing us any good. So support us by hitting the subscription button and press the notification bell. Thank you. God bless you. But I failed to run with the divine vision. Jendo, it's time. The enemy is about to capture his soul. Pull the trigger. This exchange is dangerous to your destiny. This is action time! Mostly. Why are you doing this to me for God's sake? Eh? Jesus! And he paid the price with his life. Today, because tomorrow may be too late. <laughs> What would I have done more to my vineyard that I've not done in it? Those workers are the angels God assigned to help you. Thanks for your prayers. Sir, in as much we are enjoying divine help and protection, then it is a must for us to fulfill the promises we made to the masses that voted us in. <laughs> also, we must play our part in God's work. <laughs> Sir, in our time, kingdom's work must progress. Amen. Amen. Thanks. Hello. In the next 10 minutes, His Excellency and his mother will be at the venue. Ensure that all the security agents are at their duty post. Oh, good, good. It's all right. Thank you. Yeah.
trust in you. Mrs. Obanishola, to be sincere with you, your son Joseph has become a thorn in our flesh in this station. With the record I have with me, between January and March this year, this is the seventh time my boys will bring your son here for different criminal offenses. The more we enforce the law on him, the more he breaks it with all kinds of criminal activities. Madam, I'm afraid if Joseph continues this way, he may end up in jail. Come to think of it, those bad boys usually drink and smoke in their aim right inside the bush. Uncompleted building and toilet. But Joseph of Banishola's case is totally different. Joseph and his gang drink and smoke in their head in broad daylight. And thereafter, they move into the streets, causing commotion everywhere. Well, my advice is that as a mother, you need to talk sense into him. In any case, the lawyer whose jeep size mirror was broken by Joseph's boys said we should free them. He is not interested in having case with them. So, for this reason, we don't have any further right to charge him to court. Madam, your son is free again. Please, sign this document. You mercy Unto me, O Lord, over my children, they must not go astray. I believe in you, strongly trust in you. Our great destiny changer. Mr. Man, the place is no longer fine. I say I'm not going again. But I'll pay you. Don't pay me, I'm not going. See, stupid man. Yeah. You guys are not seeing what I'm seeing. This is a ripe orange. See now. You know the city. Where do you see? This one arrived already. Wait. See now. This one is sweet. Madu, I'm Madu. fresh only. Any real help point that feed the famous. What happened to it? Oh, now ordinary beg will chop and anyhow. She did chop and finish. Don't allow this one to be wasted. Go for the harvest. No, Lele. Go for the harvest. Oba. Hey. Yes. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Somebody help! No, leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Somebody help! Leave me alone! Somebody help! Leave me! My dear, yes. where's my money? Money? Yes. 300,000 naira that we collected from the bank yesterday. What sort of question is that? Were you not there with me right in the car when I dropped the money inside your briefcase before we left the bank? And when we got home, who took the money from the car to the city room? I did. Good. Then who took it to the bedroom? Joseph, of course. Woman, tell that bastard you call a son to give me my money now. Otherwise, I will kill him with my bears. No, dear. Stop it. I won't say that from you. Enough is enough. Look, my own son is not a bastard. 
and he can never be one. Truly, Joseph is a stubborn child, but he's not a thief. He's not a thief. A child that smokes, drinks, and do all kinds of atrocities. Now tell me, why will he not steal? <laughs> Look, tell your son to return my money now. Joseph! Joseph! Okay, how come the 300,000 Naira I kept to your dad's briefcase is missing? Uh, Mom, I told you that I needed a little amount of money last week to carry out a project. I discussed the issue with the husband, but he turned deaf here to me. And got so good, the opportunity came yesterday, and I grabbed it. You know, opportunity loss can never be again. So I've used the money for the project. Project? Joseph! Oh my God. Oh my God, Joseph. Why are you doing this to me? Why? Why? Did you want to kill me? What else do you want that I have failed to give you as a mother? It wasn't so. From the beginning, everything God created was good until the devil. Planted size among the sea. I plead for mercy. Be merciful, Lord. Over me. And Where is that untrained child? That it will never be well with. Where is he? Madam, please, what's the problem? We don't pronounce God's here. There's a Christian home. Uh, I see. No doubt. In fact, Jesus even slept here last night. Are you the parent of this stupid, idiot, and good for nothing child? Woman, stop all this rubbish and go straight to the point. Eh uh eh. -uh. Don't intimidate me. Ask this bastard both of you call a son to tell you why he raped my daughter. Rape? Joseph! Uh, Mom, it is not my fault. I swear to God. If you see the kind of tight mini skirt this babe wore last night, I swear you'll fall in love with her. I mean, Mom, this babe just advertised everything God deposited into her. Both the left, the back, the right. And Mommy, you know, any ripe and sweet orange. I, your son Joseph, fail to drink. I want to be spoiled by common spirit guys. And that was why my guys thought it wise to arrange a special tatami prayers for her in my temple. Mom, can you believe that this sweet, fine babe is enjoying the prayer to the core? Fine babe, mom. Take a look at the tight mini skirt and top. Your sweet train daughter. Whoa. Ah! 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 Mary! Mary! You eventually destroy your life with these shameful and crazy dresses of yours. Okay, I'll come back to you. You, you see, my dear? Your son was expelled at 300 level in the university for this same offense. After a year, I agreed to get him an admission into Polytechnic because of pastor's plea. Woman, I hope you remember the air we went through before he could finish his HND. Oh, Dad, let's forget about the past. I mean, take a look. Good. Mom, when your husband never in his life raised his hand against me in this house. Ah. 
Joseph, you are talking to your dad? Ah! Joseph, you are talking to me, your dad, like that? Joseph! Joseph! Yeah! Joseph! Yes. Me! I swear, I will surprise you. Any day you try it, I will bring you down! Ah! Yes! What can you do to me? Yes. Me, Joseph! Darling! Darling! Stop, stop it now! <laughs> Stop it! Darling! 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 Structure purposely because of his father's barrier that will come out three months' time, and you know it that this man in question always make the needed material available and even at the right time. So we have no reason not to meet up with the agreements. Just take a look at it. Take a look at it for the past two weeks. You are still at the decking level, and you know it very well that if you the bricklayer is not complete your job. Others can proceed. Mr. Razak. I'm sorry, engineer. It wasn't our fault. The guys of that stupid boy called Jay the Governor. They did not give us a breathing space. Each time they come here, threatening us, demanding for money. Ah, uh -uh. the last time I brought my workers to the sites, those guys beat them up. And destroy our equipment. Ah! Then what are you waiting for? You should have locked them up in the cell. <laughs> Police, arrest. I don't think you know those guys. If you do, you wouldn't have said what you just say now. Any police station you get to in this state, once you mention the name J. the governor, immediately the officer will tell you to give what belongs to Caesar. To Caesar. Ah, ah. You mean it? Ah, it's more than that. Is it true that you people are proving stubborn? I refuse to pay my money. You these guys, what is your stress? Hey, hold it. You the crash? You not go better for you. Not good over you and go suck your blood. Bastard. Ah. Say you know Sabi face. You know the look face. Ah, Joseph, J. D. Governor, the king of the jungle, I draw a salute. Say, you don't know, say, Governor, we are bad for counselor, we are bad for chairman, people for honorable. Joseph, you be bad for everybody. And so, eh, uh, Uncle, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm only trying to remind you that before the commencement of this uh, foundation, I was the one who came to your office and paid directly to your secretary. Nonsense. In fact, I still have the receipt with me. Foolish engineer. So you know how to talk like a responsible woman being. Well, no problem, no yawa. I'm not in for trouble today. Now listen to me. You see, the money you pay there only cover this building to the level it is now. Ah, yeah. Now that you have decided to make it a story building, then you have to pay another charges. Ah. Ah. You mean we have to pay again? before we can get approval from you to continue this work. <laughs> you see, engineer, you got it. You got the point. Mr. Foolish Engineer, it always impresses me when I see actors getting their dialogue with us facing the director. Now, listen and listen very good. If you still decide and say, okay, oh, as we have continued this project, oh, we want to make it five, 10, even 20 story building. No, Allah. Well, let me tell you, Mr. Engineer, for any single structure you put on this building, I, J.D. Governor, will collect my charges. Now so, now so you go be forever, now so you go be your two. Pardo. Bravo. Femo. Bravo. If this bastard are proving stubborn, I refuse to pay my money. Uh, anybody you see walking on this side, break their bones. Ba ba ba! Yeah! Yeah!
Jenny Governor, Lion is the king of the jungle. Jenny Governor be Baba for everybody. Who them be? Where they there? Who born there? The Luffy is off. Mr. Asad! Mr. Asad! Unto me, O Lord Over my children They must not go away Oh! Rachel Obanishola, why are you sad? Why are you overwhelmed with bitter tears? When exactly will God take away my shame and reproach? Where will you call me with a new name? Where will I carry my own baby? <laughs> <laughs> Professor Zekaria and his wife was in the state of barrenness for many years because God shot Elizabeth's womb. God found Zechariah and his wife righteous and it pleased him to allow the great child called John the Baptist who is the forerunner of Jesus Christ to come through them. For this reason, God preserved Elizabeth's womb for the appointed time that Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, will come. Rachel Obanishola Behold, by this time next year, you will bring a child to this altar. The hands of the Almighty will build upon him, and God will use him for the expansion of his kingdom, yell on health. Through his government, people will live in abundance and in peace. It wasn't so from the beginning. Everything God created was good until the devil planted. Eyes among the sea, I plead for mercy. Be merciful, Lord, over me and my children. I plead for mercy. Be merciful, Lord. Baba! Bado. Baba. Is it true that those road safety guys seized my car? God, no. Those guys are very stupid. In spite of our explanation, they remain adamant. God, no. Imagine those bastards demanding for driving license and vehicle particular. Bado. Baba. No, Yawa. Now, so. They are looking for trouble, and I'll give them. Okay. You know that. Oh no, you know that. You know that shit. What you know that, Baba? Oh, I want to know that. 
Hello, mommy. Joseph. What exactly is my offense? Hmm? That has made you to determined to always cause me sorrow and tears. Today is the seventh day your dad has been hospitalized and you don't even think it wise to check on him. Eh? Mommy, I'm very busy now. I'll call you back later. Officer. Yes. What happened? Why are you detaining my car? Okay. If you don't recognize my guys, can't you see this Christian, the governor, written poorly on the plate number? The governor. Take Don't school. touch me. Do you want to die? The things we have from your boys are the driver's license and the vehicle particulars. What do you mean? It's driver's license, my vehicle's particulars in this state. Do you want to lose your job? Ah. Let me tell you, even the government that employed you dare not stop me. Femo, Babao, where's my car key? He did with our statues. Pardo, move the vehicle. Jay, the, the governor! governor. Lion is the king of the jungle! jungle. Jay, the governor, be my bar for everybody! Who them be? We are down there, who burned them? I know that you will make it. I know that you will stand. No matter what may come your way. Joseph, your life is in his hands. With Jesus, you will make it. With Jesus, you will stand, no matter what may come your way. Joseph, your life is in his hands. Daddy. What happened? Doctor, talk to me. Ma, your husband has been in the state of coma for the past seven days. It was not too long you left him that one of my nurses called my attention to his condition. Ma, we tried all our best, but we are sorry we lost him. <laughs> it is well with my soul. It is well. It is well with my soul. Unto me, O Lord, over my children. 
They must not go astray. I believe in you. Strongly trust in you. Our great destiny changer. I believe in you. Strongly trust in you. A great destiny changer. Oh. Oh. Wasn't so <laughs> from the beginning. <laughs> God created <laughs> until the devil planted. <laughs> Size among the sea, I plead for mercy. Be merciful, Lord, over me and my children. I plead for mercy. Be merciful, Lord. Over me and my children. My guy said you want to see me. Yes. Straight to point. No waste of time. The governor, as you know, the election is at the door. And the opposite party has vowed to bring us down. The governor, whatever you and your boys can do, go ahead and do it. Our party must not lose its power. His Excellency is not ready to accept any defeat. Mr. J, we assure you and your boys a strong backup. Whatever we end our party from winning this election, delete them, cut them down. Whoever is meant for death, delete. He said, Let's say I should give you some money and subsequent weapon to deal with stubborn enemies. Honorable, leave the rest to God. No Yawa. Where's the package? Is at my back seat. Badu! Babo! Badu! Babo! Baba, confirm. Honorable Gabuo, tell His Excellency to relax his mind. No one can take power from him. No animal, dear lion in the jungle, they won't die. The governor! Break their bones! Delete them! Bad boys.
Hello, Jibola. I have arranged flight ticket for you and your sister. Immediately you finish your exam in the school. For God's sake, don't come home. Home. Eh, election is taking place next month, and this election is do or die affairs. I am not ready to mourn any of you. So do as I instructed. In fact, I have called your elder brother in UK that if he's tired of UK, he should go to Australia or Canada. Good. God bless you. Joseph, the son of Rachel of Anisola, rise up! With the spirit, you are fortified. As from today, you have become a terror. No one touches fire with bare hands. No one can overpower you. If they shoot you, it will not have effect on your body. If they smite you with axe or cutlass, it will not penetrate into your body. <laughs> the governor. If they carry sacrifice because of you, such sacrifice will not be accepted. It was not the gods that gave me a son. Neither did I request Joseph from the devil. Why is it that my joy has suddenly turned to sorrow? My Lord, you promised me a covenant child. Why did you allow the devil to take over the soul of my son before his pregnancy? You made a covenant with me that a glorious child will come out of my womb and that you will use him for the expansion of your kingdom on earth. Lord, the life that Joseph is living is contrary to your promises for his life. <laughs> Rachel Obanishola. Everything you said concerning the promises of God for your son, Joseph or Banishola, are truth. But exactly seventh month of his pregnancy, I, the accuser, got hold of the scroll given to you by God. And immediately I changed the purpose. When the son of man slept, I, the accuser, came and planted among the seed. Rachel Obanishola, do not trouble yourself. Joseph Obanishola is mine. And my work he must do. Because it is bound for the slave to do the work of the master. No! No! My son Joseph does not belong to you. And he will never serve you. This is not a matter for argument, because I don't have time for that now. It is only that it is difficult for the son of men to accept the fact. Rachel Obanishola, right from the age of five, Joseph 
had been working for me. And my work he will continue to do. Only death, death I say, can take him away from that work. Lord, you gave Samuel to Hannah. And Anna returned the boy back to God. And Samuel saved the Lord for the rest of his life. Lord, you gave me Joseph. Therefore, as from today, I return him back to you. Lord, deliver his soul from the devil. Joseph of Anishola. You belong to God and you will serve him for the rest of your life. Joseph, I know that you will make it. I know that you will stand. No matter what may come your way. Joseph, your life is in his hand. With Jesus, you will make it. With Jesus, you will stand. Joseph, no matter what may come your way, your life is in his hand. Rachel Obanishola, Father has ordered me to hand over this glorious spot to you. Father said, You should keep it with all diligence because God has a glorious assignment for it in the future. Peace be unto you. my friend my friend borrow me your precious spot no i can't lend you my precious spot because the one that gave it to me has a special work for it and father can ask of it anytime i i didn't say you should give me permanently i only asked to use it for a while and i will return it in the most time i said i can't give you my precious spot is it by force you, you mean you can't borrow me? Yes. Okay. He that is down has no fear of falling. Whatever I cannot have, I destroy it. Give me the precious pot gently before it becomes hard. I said, give it to me. Leave me alone. Leave my precious spot. I, I, I said, give it to me. Leave my precious spot. Leave my precious spot. My precious spot. My precious That is good. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. The pot is no longer useful for you and I. Everything Nonsense. God created was doomed. Ah, yeah. Until the devil planted yeah. ah. size among the sea. I plead for mercy. Rachel Obanishola, why are you crying? <laughs> Wise one, the enemy has broken the, 
the glorious man, the father, kept in my possession. Weeping and lamenting are not the solutions, daughter. Gather the pieces of the broken pots and take them back to the potter who gave it to you. The potter is full of mercy and he will surely make it for you again. He is the potter that made every life. He built every destiny. The enemy has destroyed. And behold, he made them new again. Destiny changer. Uh. No man changer. Destiny. Destiny muda. Uh. What did happen now? Everybody knows Gata. Where's Pado? I don't see him now. Where's Pado? Everybody knows Gata, Baba. Where are other guys? All of them knows Gata. Ah, Pado. 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 Ah, go no. Pado, what did happen now? War front is bad. Our opponent don't believe Pado last night. Ah. Pado! Ah. Pado, your respect. Governor, Governor, Pado don't die. Femo, a second in command, don't go. Make me to Ah! I know! I know! I'm thirsty! I want blood! No! Pardon! You 
you can't go like that. All right. Badu! Baba! Femo! Babo! Blood must flow like rivers of eaters. Ah! Kill everybody! Ah. Burn houses! Red balls! Okay! Where's my gun? destroyed has been made new again by the potter look it is new again take father said the appointed time for the pot to manifest has come behold the whole creation are eagerly waiting for its manifestations Thank you, Jesus. It's your mercy that makes me come into your presence, my Epa. It's your mercy that makes me come into your presence, my Epa. It's your mercy. That makes me come into your presence, my Epa. 
It's your favor that makes me come into your presence, my Epa. My Epa, my Epa, my Epa, my Epa. Hello? Mommy. What's on the line? Badu on the line. Badu? Badu? Yeah. Joseph Frank. Bad boss. Ah, bad boss. What happened to you? Mommy. You have to take art. <laughs> Joseph is dead! Ah! Joseph is what? What happened to him? What? What happened to Joseph? Hello? Hello? <laughs> yeah! Aurora Spot, which the enemy destroyed, has been made me again by the potter. It wasn't so. From the beginning, <laughs> everything God created was new until the devil planted size among the sea. I plead for mercy. Be merciful, Lord, over me and my No! No! Lord, this is not the covenant you made with me. You never promised me that I will mourn my child. Lord! You told me that affliction will not rise the second time. Joseph, you can't die. Satan. You cannot take Joseph from me, the way you took his father. <laughs> Joseph, you can't die. My son cannot die. <laughs> you can't die. The power that rose Lazarus from the grave after the first day. The power that restored back to life, the only son of the widow of nine. <laughs> the same power restored to life, the dry bones in the book of Ezekiel chapter 37. Joseph, like the Joseph in the Bible that fulfilled his destiny. You will live to fulfill the purpose of God for your life. <laughs> I command the life of God into your life. Joseph, receive life in the name of Jesus. Receive life. <laughs> the resurrection power. <laughs> Lord, miracles in your life today, today. 
Rot Miracuziola. <laughs> the resurrection power. <laughs> Rot Miracuziola. <laughs> today, today. <laughs> Rot Miracuziola. Joseph Obanishola. Look at where Patrick Obase ended his journey. <laughs> <laughs> It is appointed unto a man to die once, after this, the judgment. Anyone whose name is not found written in the book of life shall be cast into the lake of fire. Joseph Obanishola, since you have failed to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior while on heart, you are not worthy of eternal life. Therefore, we are Patrick Obase. And that is journey is your final destination. Oh. <laughs> Truly, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ was preached to me. My own mother also introduced Jesus to me time with that number. But I allowed the devil to harden my heart. I refused to accept the free of our salvation made available for me through the death and the blood of Jesus on the cross of Calvary. Oh. Angel of God, Angel of God, please, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. I'm ready to give my life to Jesus. I'm ready to be born again. I'm ready to live for Christ. Never. There is no repentance or forgiveness of sin in the grave. Joseph of Banishola, the son of Rachel, you have served me with your strength and time. And pay time is now. After that, hi Lucifer. Have just one eternal reward, and that is hellfire. <laughs> Place of weeping, nothing of teeth, and eternal condemnation. <laughs> Joseph of Anishola, it is time to go into journey to hellfire now. <laughs> Have mercy on me, mercy I need. Over oh, to save, over the shadow, Jesus. Have mercy on me, mercy I need. Lucifer. He that committed sin belongs to you. But mercy is presently prevailing over Joseph of Banchola's judgment. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is standing in the presence of the Father at the throne of mercy, pleading for Joseph because the cries of Rachel of Banchola for the restoration of her son has gone to the throne of mercy. The precious blood that flows at the side of Jesus. On the cross, he's speaking for Joseph of Anishola. For this reason, I was sent to come and open another door of grace for him.
Joseph Obanishola. You are found by mercy. Therefore, go back to the world and fulfill the purpose of God for your life. Merci. To surrender my life to Jesus. Mom, I want to be born again. Jesus. Whosoever that comes to me, I will by no means cast him away. Joseph of Anishola, your sins has been forgiven. Go and sin no more. Appreciate you and mommy for your prayers and standing by my family during the crisis. God bless you, sir. Amen. My son, Joseph, is now a complete changed man. Praise God. Hallelujah. In fact, when he arrived from the church yesterday, he told me that he has joined the evangelism team. Yes, though the King Williams, the head of the Department of Evangelism, didn't support the idea of Joseph joining the unit because he is a baby Christian. He is not yet matured for that work. But when I explained some things to the King Williams, he saw reasons why Joseph needs to belong to the unit. Mrs. Obani Shola, sincerely, you need to be praised for the great job you did. Only one out of a hundred parents will tarry on the altar of prayer for the new life of their children. Tell me, the parents who do not have Christ, how will they bother about the salvation of their children. These are the kinds of parents that the devil afflicts by changing the good purpose of God over the lives of their children to evil. Ma, thanks 
for fighting the good fight for your son. Even when the battle was tough, you refused to surrender. All glory be to God. Since we arrived from the hospital, unspeakable joy and peace has fully returned to our home. The only thing that saddened my heart is that my husband did not live to witness the new life of his son. It is well. It is well. It is well. It is well. Thank you, sir. Daddy, my son has joined politics. I'm afraid. Afraid of what? His party chairman called me last week. He told me that. My son Joseph is their candidate for the post of the chairman of this local government. Sir, everyone living in this town and the environment knew the kind of person Joseph was. Daddy, who will vote for a talk? A fighter? A rapist? Mrs. Rachel Obani Shola. That's all right. Joseph, who was a dog, a smoker, a fighter, and a rapist has died for a very long time ago. And he can never rise again. Listen to what the Bible says. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Let me just read to you. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are new. Ma, do you remember the dream you shared with me some years back? It might be a series of no trouble. The vision is for an appointed time. Surely it will be. It might sorry, it might be long. It might be a series of no trouble. The vision is for an appointed time. Surely. Yes, Pastor. I remember. Good. Now is the time God will bring about the fulfillment of the dream. The plan of God is not for your son to become the local government chairman, but he must start his political career from that level. Ma, I am fully persuaded that very soon Joseph Obani Shola will become the governor of this noble state one day. Amen. Amen. All we need to do is to back him and his party up with our prayers. Your son shall live to fulfill his glorious destiny in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. I receive the promise of God, surely it will be my children will be there never told. Surely it will be I receive the promise of God, surely it will be my children will be there never told. It's my sorry. It might be long, it might be a series of no trouble. The vision is for an appointed time. Surely it will be. It might sorry, it might be long. It might be a series of no trouble. The vision is for an appointed time. Surely. Surely it's a bitch. 
cast your vote wisely. Don't vote for the talks party. Ah, it's not good for someone to have bad. It's past. not good at all. It's not good. Ah, I see the man oh, very hands. Can you see? But the past record is not is yeah. very bad. Ah, my secretary. Have your seat. My secretary, what is the problem? Chama, the wise one says prevention is better than cure. Sir, just take a look at this. Ah, cast your vote wisely. Don't vote for the talks party. Ah. Imagine the disgusting word. Don't vote for the talks party. Sir, our opponent's party has pasted this poster all over the town. Hmm. My chair, you have to see how their rally was filled up with crowd yesterday. Hmm. Sir, did you listen to their program on radio this afternoon? Can you see? And then I was shouting that the idea of nominating a thug, a smoker, a fighter as chairman in this party won't work. But all of you reveals to reason along with me. Hmm. All we keep saying was that Joseph is now a changed boy, a changed person. Yes, truly the boy has changed. But how many will forget the evils he has done in the past? Dear man, can't you see that his evil shadow is running after him? <laughs> Sir, my advice is that we should cut for an emergency meeting and decide a new candidate for the post of Ayibobo local government chairman. This idea of Joseph Obanishola won't work. And it won't pay our party if we lose any single post in this election all because of your personal interest in that boy. Dear man, do you remember that we promised to win all in order to get some political appointments in Abuja? Secretary, honestly, I don't know why my mind went for Joseph. Anytime I think about the coming election, I have this peace of mind that with that boy in our party, there's no cause for alarm. My secretary, I have this strong belief that our party will win all the chairmanship and councillorship election in the whole state. Let's give him a chance. I am sure we won't regret it. Dear man, dear man, this is a costly risk. Yes, politics is a game of risk. Let the party continue with all the plans on ground and leave the rest to God. Okay. Hello? Hello, Senator? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, you really need to talk sense to your party chairman. Yes, party chairman of, of Ayibogo Local Government. Yes. Over his candidate for the post of Ayibogo Local Government chairman. Yes, Joseph. Joseph Obani Shola. Yes, sir. Yes, are you Bogbo local government? The singular act of choosing that boy can make us lose this election in all the local government because there is no single town in this state that the boy is not known for violence. Yes, yes, sir. Okay, all right. Thank you, thank you, sir. Yeah, how was the election? I hope everything is working as we desire. Well, I've cast my vote for him. 
And I believe many of our church members and others have cast their vote for him. But there I am scared with all the information I have received from the polling stations. In fact, the probability that Joseph and his party will win a post in this election is less than 0.5. Yeah, I disagree with you. We should not be moved by what people say, but rather focus our attention on the promise of God. Brother Joseph Obani Shola and his party will march as the winner in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, your faith must be strong at this stage. Let's stand on the word of God. He is not a son of man that will lie or change his mind. God is faithful and he always stands by his word. We have cast our foot for him and we have equally encouraged others to do the same. Above all, we have prayed and fasted on it. Let's trust God and see what Him alone can do. Yeah. The time God wants to deliver this state from the ends of oppressor that have been enslaving us for a very long time has come. That is why God is using the foolish things to confuse the wise. This is an era of a new dawn in our state. Amen. There, the Bible says, watch and pray. We have prayed. So, it is time for us to watch. Where? Switch on the TV set. And let us see what is going on. Demons tremble at your presence. Oh, the mighty God we say, glory, glory, hallelujah, everything written about you is great. The president has made the clear yesterday that the law will not hesitate to punish whosoever that causes commotion in any of the police stations all over the state. Here is the news in full. Four people from FDP, Freedom Democratic Party, who stole the polling box, was arrested by the police officers. Also, in Ayegbogbon local government, six people who attempted to increase the number of the voting cards in the polling box were arrested by the state security officers. Here is the result of the election from INEC. In Ekwe local government, Mr. Ajayi Olakpade from RDP, Revolutionary Democratic Party, emerge as a new chairman. Also, Mr. Joseph Obanishola from the same party, RDP, emerged as Ayegbogbon local government chairman. Praise God! Hallelujah. It's a miracle walking God! It's a miracle walking God! It's the Alpha and Omega! It's a miracle walking God! Amen. Ah. I told you now that my God is a miracle working God. There is nothing he cannot do. You, you that have fully lost hope on Brother Joseph, if not for my strong faith, the story will have been different now. Who taught you the principles of faith? Uh, <laughs> that cannot practice what he teaches. Uh, when we cannot run away from the reality of life. Uh. <laughs> Where we need to greet um, Mrs. Obanishola, call her for me. Ah, I'm happy for her. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, Daddy. Hello, sir. Hello, ma. Ah, congratulations, ma. Mr. Joseph. Obanishola is now the chairman of Aibogban local government area. Praise the Lord. Ah, thank God. Yes, ma. Hello, ma. I'm happy for you. Congratulations. You are great. 
You are great. You know, you are great. You are great. You are great, Father. You are great. You are great. You are great, Lord. So great. Everything, everything about you is great. Ah! Wait, 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 wait. Ah! Wait, wait, wait. 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 Rather, teach you how to catch fish. There the governor. Lion is the king of the jungle. Governor be Baba for counselor, chairman, and honorable. There, you be Baba for everybody. Uh, my guys, let's get down to business. J the governor, Baba for everybody. The smoker, the rapist, and the troublemaker. Is the one sitting before you today as the chairman of Aigogon local government. Betty, Shino, Femi, Badmos, Felis, 
give your lives to Jesus. Allow Christ to remove the filthy garment on you. Guys, allow Jesus to clothe you with garment of glory. If not for the mercy I obtained through the prayers of my mother, by now I would have been sobbing in air with Pardo, Patrick Obasi. Guys, bad moss, stop it, drop it. Guys, can the dead be in the position I am now? Hmm. The plan of God for me is not to be a thug leader. Satan and sin change the purpose. But I'm grateful to God that his plan for me stood. Friends, I am confident of this that by the special grace of God, one day I, Joseph of Anishola, will be the governor of the state. Guys, na true talk. Imagine how those stupid and heartless politicians treat us after we've won the power for them. During the election, they gave us guns and peanuts money. And thereafter, we the fool, we start acting violently, destroying properties. And in the process of fighting for them, some of us got killed. Ah, but do your respect. When we are here, killing each other and destroying our future, their children are there in South Africa, United Kingdom and Canada, studying and building their future careers. At the long run, their fathers will hand over their political career to them. Thereafter, we start running after our young ones calling them his SLNC. Femu, Felix, the worst aspect of it is that after these wicked politicians has won the post, they abandon us for the next four years. And when the money is not flowing in again, we start making use of the weapons given to us and even rob with it. The same politicians who turn us to political talks will later arrange for our arrest. Ah ah. ah. Guys, before the election, that took Padio's life. I saw Honorable Arigbabuo calling his children. Bola, I have arranged flight ticket for you and your sister. Immediately you finish your exam in the school. For God's sake, don't come home. Oh. Eh, election is taking place next month. And this election is do or die affairs. I am not ready to mourn any of you. So do as I instructed. In fact, I have called your elder brother in UK that if he's tired of UK, he should go to Australia or Canada. Dude, the foolish ones are getting destroyed day by day. Joseph, I'm ready to accept your Jesus Christ. Betty, Felix, Shino, Badmos, what are you guys waiting for?
Betty, Felix, why can't you join other guys? What is all this rubbish? Let's go, John. No, never. That can never happen. That boy can never become the governor of this state. Never! Chairman, just two days after the opponent party nominated that boy as their next candidate for the post of governor, I call your attention to it. But you didn't take it serious. Just because you felt the governorship seats in this state is not meant for a boy. Sir, the cornerstone we failed to pay attention to has now become a blocking stone to us. All the towns and villages that we thought were already in our pocket, they had to be won by that boy. In fact, we were highly humiliated and disgraced in the last cafe we went in some of those places. They call us names! What? How come? Well, it's okay, gentlemen. Please have your seats. But you see, I expect our representatives to give money to these people. Let us buy them over with money. Let's shut their mouth with money, as we used to do. You know that is our normal tradition now. Let's give them peanuts, ordinary peanuts. Let's give it to them, and they will be ready to sell their rights and the future of their children to us. Simple. Chairman, that was before. That that is no longer working. People's eyes are now open. That boy fulfilled all the promises he made as chairman of our Yabungalo government. His excellent performance made the people in the old state to love him. And forget about his past life. That is the main reason his party nominated him as their governorship candidate. Sir, do you remember that I, Honorable Waki Wande, supposed to be on that seat eight years ago, but the party begged me to step down for outgoing governor. Now it is my time. I can't afford to miss that seat. I've spent money. I need it back. This coming election is going to be do or die affair. Chairman, if you desire that our party maintain the governance of the state, then we must delete Joseph of Anisola before the election. Otherwise, our party will lose governance to RDP party. Hmm. bless you all. We are not one of those parties that tells white lies. We are not politicians that buy people with peanuts money and oppress the masses after gaining the power. This is our season of a new dawn. And we must free ourselves from the hands of the oppressors and deceivers. Our states need total freedom. And our people need transparency and fair politics. We need leaders that will listen to the cries of the masses and not leaders that will erase their pockets. Our so-called politicians said, the youth are the leaders of tomorrow. We say capital no to that because our future begins from now. We have come to an era that our vibrant youth must take the mantle of leadership in this state and in the country at large. Our fathers have failed us. And we can't allow them to drag us to the second slave world. So, in view of this, 
pay a rupee present to you, Joseph of Banishola, as the next governor of our state. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Our DP. New Dawn. Our DP. New Dawn. Revolutionary Democratic Party. shot this guy where he can never survive it. Shut up your dirty stinking mouth my friend. Can't you read the news in the papers? The bullets you shot did not hit him. He only fainted as a result of shock. Look, I sent you to kill him and not just to shoot at him. Ijaya, was that what I sent you to do? Was that? I told you to kill him completely and not just to shoot at him. By 12 noon on Wednesday, he and his team will be at attacked by local government on campaign. Make sure you track him down and kill him. Finish him! Look, this is your last opportunity. If you fail, your miserable lives will go for it. Get the hell out of here.
Matthew 7, 7. Ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks will receive. And everyone who seeks will find. And the door will be opened to those who knock. We are going to pray concerning our brother, brother Joseph Obani Shola, that the Lord will make them to be a winner in this coming election in Jesus' name. That we pray, oh Father, we pray for our brother, brother Joseph, oh Lord, that this coming election, they will be a winner in the name of Jesus. They will be a winner in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray. Let's cry. Let's pray. Lord, I Lord, we pray our brother in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, to find our will pray this in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray this in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray our brother Joseph. Oh Lord, to find our will pray this in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray this in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray our brother Joseph. Oh Lord, to find our will pray this in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray this in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray our brother Joseph. Oh Lord, to find our will pray this in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray this in the name of Jesus. The Lord will go with you in Jesus' name. Amen. It is well with you. The Lord will go with you. Thank you. Okay, bye bye. Okay. We are going to pray. Uh, this time around, in this coming election, our brother will become a winner.
you turn back. Otherwise, hey, you will end up falling into the pit you dug for the man. Look, I can one day. Adibabu, hey, I will suggest and advise strongly that we stop chasing after the wind. Shalom. What do you mean? Every plan to eliminate that boy failed. And all our effort to get him off the track proved abortive. Friend, at this juncture, you need to hang up and accept your fate. Accept my fate? Yes. I have never missed a target. Any animal I target, I get it. This one will not be a difference. Not when I'm alive that Joseph Obanishola will become governor of this state. Igbe o legun. Igbe ni ba te igbe mole. O dide do ko tiru ese. Ojo ti o ri ba foju kan orun ni e wa re baje. Benny, I got the number for you coming. I don't know any other people. Joseph, the son of Rachel Obanisola. I, if I let it, destroy everything they have used to falsify you. Without hesitation. Joseph, the son of Rachel Obanishola, you must fall down and die. Immediately, Akiwande, the son of Ajishafe, shoot your image. Honorable, shoot the bastard. Surely, it's over. I received the promise of God. Surely, it's over. My children will be benefactor. It might sorry, it might be long. It might be a series we not come up. The vision is for an appointed time. Sure. Uh, thank you, thank you. Before I say anything, I would like to invite someone special to me. Mommy, please come over. Uh, behind a successful man, there is a woman. But as for me, Joseph of Anishola, Behind a successful governor, there is a good mother. I'm not qualified to receive the award of three months of excellent performance as the governor of this state. My mother, the award belongs to you. When all hope was lost on me, you refused to allow yours go down the drain. And I'm not worthy to be proud of as a son. You showed me motherly love. You believed in me. And you fought the battles for me with your prayers. Mother, 
when my destiny was shattered in the hands of the devil. You gathered it back with your prayers right on your knees. Mother, by the help of God, you made me what I am today. <sighs> Mommy, you are a real gem to me. There's no mother like you in the whole world. My mother, thank you for the pains, shame, and agonies you went through just for me to fulfill destiny. I'm grateful. Mommy, I love you so much. Yeah. 